I think that's the additional fun when you're opening packs that you have no idea about the value. Uh, you have no idea. Yeah, yeah, I have absolutely no idea about the prices of any of these cards until I go check them up. Strixhaven, no idea. These two, I have an idea of. Crimson Vow, I have a good idea of. But when you're opening Strixhaven, Forgotten Realms, yeah, kind of a fun open. Midnight Hunt. And these are not expensive if you want to buy. Oh, oh, I like it. That's a good opening. I, I like it. I like it. Blood Petal. I still don't have that Werewolf card Like that's like a dollar. Edgar's Awakening. Sanguine. Belligent Guess. Welcoming Vampire. Okay, that's, that's a pretty card, but Splendid Reclamation. Huh? And Spike Shawl Rip Shawl. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. Splendid return all land from your graveyard to the battlefield tap. Oh, this might be good. Anytime you have land cards, it could be very powerful. Whenever one or more creatures power two or less enter battlefield under control, draw a card. This barely triggers only once a turn. Okay, that's interesting. Probably not very good. But Splendid Reclamation. Hmm. Land cards are always valuable because of EDH. And that was from a set. Oh, was that from the list? Or was, or was that my rare? All right, one of my favorite new sets, Strixhaven. I honestly have opened zero Strixhaven before now. I like the fact it gives you like another random card that's full art, even though it's not very valuable, it's kind of cool. Oh, Fairy Snarl. Shock, okay, introduction to prop, okay. Okay, all right, I'll put them here just because I'm not very hopeful. I'm gonna open some commander, fluff up my count. We have, I, I can't say we have not. We've pulled mythics, we've pulled cards that should have value, but turned out not to have value because again, oh, band together. Yeah, you meet in a tavern, tavern bond, tier mats. Wilson, oh, I think this is the guy you can have um, relationships with, right, Wilson? Because, oh, 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 almost another one. Oh my God. Look at, look at this. Like you would think, all right, this is a really good pack, right? You got this, you got that, you got this, you got this. And I guarantee you it's all kind of like worth like 10 cents or less. Maybe the vexing puzzle may be worth a few month, dollars because it's or an artifact mythic. All right, Crimson Vow. That's it, man. That is it. This has been quite interesting. I probably do not want to continue to do that. I, I did order boxes already, and they should come in the mystery boxes. But holy moly, we got absolutely... Like, I'm pretty sure we got obliterated in the second half. The first half, we did pretty well. But the second half, holy moly, we got obliterated. Oh, we got the frog again, the forest, and another... I mean... They will give you rares. The problem is none of it is worth any money. Copper Dragon. Copper. I mean, look at all the rares we got. You cannot say that these guys did not give me an opportunity. Oh, Cliff Gate. Oh, Citadel Gate. I take the gate. The gate is very good. I will take the gate 10 times out of 10. I will even take a whole pack that only has 10 gates. <laughs> Consider that a big win. Okay. Oh, Deadly Dispute. $2 card. I thought it was like a $4 card, but it's like a $2 card now. Okay. Master Chef. Nope. Oh, my God. Like you, you cannot say they didn't give you enough rares. I'm going to count up the rares again. Ugh, you cannot say they didn't give you enough rares. They definitely gave me enough rares. Oh, Scary Tab. Oh. I cannot say that they didn't. They de definitely gave me enough possibilities. It's just that everything is like so worthless. Probably because they gave you so many rares. Now in hindsight, I think that's probably why. So when you do pull a card, uh, I think this card is worth money. I'm almost certain this card is worth money. I've, I've seen it before. I've actually saw it in like an EDH deck. Training, remove, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that dude's worth money. 
Uh, now, how much money is he worth? I, I have no idea. But let's count the rares that we pulled. We pulled a lot of foil rares. That one was had free. Wow, one pack of free rares, and none. Oh, this pack also had free rares and a mythic. This pack had a rare. This had holy moly, guys. That's a lot of rares. I'm hoping this is like a twenty dollar card. So it's interesting because like I'm trying to. I've I, again some of these cards I have no idea because I've never seen. I've seen them before, but I've forgotten. That is a shit ton of rares, man, and mythics. It's six. It's twelve. That means every, even the the. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna return and let you know the good news or the bad news. I'm, I, I don't think it's good news, guys. I think it's bad news, but I just need to get to 114. Yeah, forget to like forget like. Okay, so I need to get 114. Um, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm gonna make this seven. I feel like I can give a little bit more value here for seven. So I'm at 60 now. Let's assume I'm at 60. I need to do $54 of value from these cards. Oh, jeez. I, I need another hitter. I need, I need something like this. Something where I didn't think was valuable, but it was like $15. And then I think we can make it. But I need $54 of more value. We're gonna, have to penny, we're gonna have nickel and dime this shit. 